Thank you and hello all. Um, I'm excited to tell you about our study where we investigate the importance of local scale geodiversity, all landforms for biodiversity. And this study, which I'm going to represent, is published in the Journal of Biogeography and made together with Mikko Kiuttu, Risto Kalliola, Janne Alahuhta and Jan Hjul. And if there are any questions or comments or ideas, please contact me, uh, for instance, via email or Twitter. So why to study the meaning of landforms for biodiversity? It has been found out in previous studies that uh, geodiversity underpins biodiversity. But however, the contribution of local scale geodiversity or specific geo features such as landforms has rarely been explored. And there is a clear need for local scale investigations on this. Uh, so how we studied the meaning of landforms for biodiversity then. Uh, we identified landforms in the area of Rokua UNESCO Global Geopark in Finland in Northern Europe. You can see the location from the map. Uh, and we identified 10 landforms in the study, study area, which are formed by different earth surface processes. Uh, the sample size of each landform was 35. And for instance, we identified beach ridges, parabolic sand dunes and arbor mires. Please note that the white stuff in the figures is snow, it's not sand. And we also included 35 plots with no identified landforms to the data. And the landform identification was based on field collected data, remotely sensed data such as aerial images, uh, map layers and data from previous studies. And we used several measures and indices of vascular plant diversity at each landform, plot as an indicator of biodiversity. And based on this data, we ask two main study questions. First, are there differences in biodiversity between distinct landforms and control sites? And second, how biodiversity varies among these different landforms? Uh, then to the results. Uh, so in the results plot, y-axis is the biodiversity measure and it increases when going upwards. And x-axis is for the landforms and the control side, which is the last one in each plot. And the asterisks above each measure tells if the biodiversity measure of the landform differs significantly from the value of the control side. So uh, and the figure uh, and in the figure alpha, Gamma and beta are the different spatial levels of biodiversity. So alpha is local, gamma is for the diversity of the bigger area, and beta is the diversity between sites. And in the figures, you can see the three most common species in our data. Uh, there's lingonberry, then bilberry, and heather. And to conclude the main findings, the landforms were, in general, more, more diverse than the control sites. Biodiversity was more pronounced in gullies, which you can see in the photo, and they are also marked with blue stars in the plots um, and in river shores. And in, in the addition, kettle, kettle holes, which are marked with orange triangles, lake shores and arbor mires seem to support somewhat high biodiversity. And to conclude, landforms that are moist, hydrologically variable, and which sustain a number of microclimates and microhabitats, they are high in their biodiversity. Uh, some landforms, such as nearshore and parabolic sand dunes, were low in their biodiversity, even lower than the control sites. Uh, this is probably because they are dry. They are in dry, listen covered forests with low soil moisture content in the sandy soil. And then to discuss, so how did the results answer to our study questions then? In the first question, we asked if there are differences in biodiversity between distinct landforms and the control sites. We found out that landforms generally underpin plant diversity or biodiversity better than control sites. And in the second question, we asked how biodiversity varies among different landforms. And based on our results, we found out that moist, hydrologically and microtopographically variable landforms, they are especially diverse. And these were, for instance, river shores and gullies and arbor mires. And to answer the question in our title, 
are landforms meaningful for biodiversity? Uh, we state that yes, they are. This was supported through the results and findings. So thus we encourage both scientists and practitioners to explore and integrate local scale geodiversity and biodiversity, for instance, in future, future studies across the world and in conservation and land, in, in land use planning. Thank you for your attention.